The theater project in Gdańsk means 400 years of theater history. Starting from the early 17th century, exactly in 600, 1601, uh, English actors started coming to Gdańsk and performing there almost every summer. And this tradition continued until the 1660s, so for more than the first half of the 17th century, the English dominated the stage in Gdańsk. It so happened that around 1610, a public theatre was built in Gdańsk. This was the first, uh, the, the first public theatre in Poland, and the English performed uh, whenever they were given permission to play. Uh, so it's both a combination of English players' activity in Gdańsk and theatrical history that does not have precedence in the whole country. The theatre built uh, in 1610 was built anew in 1635 and then it was dismantled in 1741. And it was only um, in the early 1990s that this idea surfaced and, and, and we started a foundation and, and our aim was to, to have this theatre reconstructed on the site, on the original site. The version that is visible on this 17th century engraving by a Dutch artist, Peter Willer, um, shows our theatre in its version built in 1635. And this version was designed and, and built by a Flemish architect, Jacob van den Blok. I personally find it fascinating, this multinational city, also a multicultural city, produces a theatre in which we have the English, the Flemish, uh, and now the Polish uh, components, right? And, and Italian, an Italian uh, architect who designed the 21st century version of the theatre. So we are, in fact, now in the stage of, of building a theatre that echoes the 17th century playhouse but belongs in its architectural shape to the 21st century and also a theatre that is fully equipped, technologically speaking, and is, is ready to, to, to host productions, even most postmodern productions, or technologically advanced productions from around the world. Uh, long before the, the completion of the theatre, we started International Shakespeare Festival, and now we are in, in its 17th edition. And within, within that period, we showed over, well over 200 different productions from around the world, from 40 plus countries. And, and this has grown to be one of the biggest, and I am not modest to say, perhaps one of the most important Shakespeare festivals in the world. This is accompanied by a huge educational program that we have. Every year, between anything between four and 5,000 young people enter into all sorts of educational programs, along with their teachers. We have special programs for the teachers. So we are, in fact, creating future generations of theatre lovers, theatre goers, and, um, and I, I think the theatre will provide inspiration not only for artistic people, but for also for educators, for teachers, and for the young. It's very important to, to activate the young and to show them that there are more complex ways of uh, describing the world and thinking about the world than they, they imagine. Today we are in, in a Somerset House, uh, part of which is, is used by King's College London, and, and we are taking part in an event hosted by King's College. We are privileged to be hosted by this, this, this distinguished academic institution. And, um, and today's event consists of two parts. One was a discussion panel um, organized by King's um, uh, and also by the Globe Theatre and also by Gdański Teatr Szekspirowski. Um, and the, 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 the aim of the, of the discussion was, was to, to name and, and, 
and possibly solve a number of, of problematic issues connected with reconstructing old buildings. The, essentially, the problem is why should we reconstruct, if at all? And if we reconstruct, what do we expect? Do we have uh, museum pieces to be produced there? What is the purpose of this? Educational, artistic, both or none of these? Um, um, so different approaches were presented uh, and this was followed by the opening of, of the exhibition and we were honoured by the presence of the Polish ambassador who came and His Excellency opened the exhibition and the exhibition designed by uh, Karol Prochatsky from Gdańsk shows the theatre of two times. That is the old playhouse, 1610-1635 uh, playhouse in, in Gdańsk in which English actors performed and its postmodern version designed by Renato Rizzi who also appeared, who also came to this event and took an active part in the discussion panel and in the opening exhibition. Today, architecture, uh, the, the language of architecture is to cut off all things. This project try to link all things. And in this case, uh, the, the biggest aim of the project is the vision, to, to get a new gaze. Because if you have a new gaze, you have an, a different mind. So, for example, there is one level for public people is on the uh, plus six meter above the ground level of the city. So the people, when they go to the, the theater, they, they are on a higher horizon and they, they can look at the, the old city. They can see the, the Mariachi church, uh, the river, the everything. But the level, to, to, to lift up the level, immediately the images of, of the city becomes different. So this is this new horizon, but also when the, the roof it will be open, you have again another different landscape. So this is the possibilities that uh, the architecture has to reveal something that uh, today is still not uh, understood. Our project has, has certainly stirred imagination and, and has evoked unconcealed enthusiasm from many people, including our patron, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, who, who should be mentioned here because he has started, he became our patron very early in, 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 in the history of the project, where this seemed like a dream vision of someone's. Anyway, this project stirs imagination because it, it does combine tradition with the present, different aesthetics, different uh, worldviews. It combines architecture, theater, um, uh, uh, history of drama, Shakespeare studies, um, uh, social history, uh, all sorts of areas of human knowledge and art um, that, that, that uh, we, we uh, can think of in today's world. So um, I think it's very stimulating. To, I, this is the word that I, 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 would, I would choose to, to describe. If I were asked to, to describe it in one word, I would say it's stimulating. You, you don't necessarily have to like the design, you don't have to care about Shakespeare and, 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 and the past, but, but this, this stirs imagination.